So today we're going to talk about the dot operator, matrix um, scalar operations, and operations involving two matrices. Um, so first we're going to talk about um, using uh, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and so on with um, a matrix and a scalar. Um, here we have a scalar A is equal to 7 um, and a vector or, or a matrix, 1 by 4 matrix or, or a row vector B containing elements 1, 2, 3, and 4. Um, so first question is can you do A plus B and if you can what do you get? Um, if I put it here in this format you can obviously do, you can probably guess that you can do a plus B but what do you get um, before before I explain it to you I'm going to run this and then show you the result um, so when you when you do a plus B what you're telling MATLAB to do is you're saying take a a scalar a which is 7 which is assigned the value 7 and add it to every element of B so it says do 7 plus 1 which is 8 and it says do 7 plus 2 which gives you 9 it says do 7 plus 3 which gives you 10 and then it says do 7 plus 4 which gives you 11 um, it's as simple as that that you can also do um, subtraction with it so you can do a minus b and you can already guess what's going to happen this time you're going to um, subtract 1 2, 3, and 4 from 7 each time. Say you have 7 here. So when you write this code, a line of code, you're saying that, okay, takes, um, you have the number 7, and every time until from beginning to end, subtract each element, the value of each element from A. So um, what it's saying is um, take 7, subtract 1 from it, now you have 6 take 7 subtract 2 from it now you have 5 take 7 subtract 3 from it um, you have 4 and then when you subtract 7 minus 4 you get 3 um, and this is the vector, row vector you get from doing this um, from running this line of code right here D is assigned A minus B um, now can you do how about multiplication division and exponentiation um this is this um this you will see later on you can the dot operator when you when we talk about that you will have to put it when you're doing when you're dealing with um matrices and whatnot but for now you can do um multiplication when you do when you run this line of code you're saying that take seven and multiply it by every element of um, the vector B so it says 7 times 1, 7 times 2, 7 times 3, 7 times 4 and that's what it gives you right here 7, 14, 21 and 28 um, going down here you st you know, do you notice how you can do multiplication like this um, when you do F is assigned B um, divided by A what you're saying is um, take the vector B, take the vector B, and multiply it by 1 over 7. Do you see how it says it's basically the same thing as multiplying it by 1 over 7? Um, so you can do this, um, uh, and you, you'll get an answer from it. Um, they're all decimals, um, you see. I mean, if you think about it, it makes sense. It should get, um, um, big, uh, bigger every time, and it does. So it, it makes sense. Um, but you cannot do a divided by b. Um, MATLAB will not let you do a scalar divided by a by a vector or a matrix. Um, so that's when things get complicated. Um, that's when you have to use the dot operator. Um, but we'll talk about that in a minute. And you cannot do um when you're dealing with a scalar and a matrix you cannot do um, G is assigned A to power B um, you just can't do it or you or you can't do um, 
B2 Powerade, that doesn't work either. Um, here I'll just probe it to real quick, A to the power B, um, and it says error, you can't do that, and I'm going to do B to the power A, and it will say error, you cannot do that either. But you can do it once you learn the dot operator. Um, the dot operator is when you use it um, when you're dealing with matrices a lot. Um, here you see that you don't need it with addition and subtraction and multiplication in, in this case or this part of division, but you do need it here. So the dot operator is basically um, using a dot or putting a dot in front of multiplication um, sign, division sign, or, or the power sign. Um, and anytime you're dealing with two matrices, um, so here, for example, we have here you, we, you saw that you could not do eight. Okay, I'm going to type that in just to show you that a um, a divided by b indeed does not work. It says error using um, the division sign or the front slash sign. Um, now, if you use the dot operator, it will let you run it. So h which is equal to a dot um, front slash b will give you an answer right here so that's when you use dot operator um, and honestly if you don't know what to um, if you're dealing with a matrix or a scalar you can just always put this dot and it will work if it's if it doesn't need it it will just MATLAB will just ignore it um, so it's worth putting it there so now if we do a dot to the power b, um, if we do this a dot to the power b, um, you'll get, it will work when, if when it did right here, it did not work because he didn't use the dot operator right here. So it's basically putting a dot in front of, like I said, multiplication sign or the division sign or um, to the power of, um, so that's basically it for the dot operator. Um, we'll we'll see its application down here, right here, when we're dealing with two matrices, because you have to use the dot operator when dealing with matrices, um, when when you're dealing with two matrices or more. Um, so here we have a matrix of size two by four containing elements one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, uh, call, uh, called apples, and here we have a matrix. That's also of size two by four, um, containing elements 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, and 80. Okay, so this is one thing that you you've all um, you probably have already noticed or learned, but when you're doing when, when you're dealing with matrices, they have to be of the same of same size. So if you're trying to add or subtract or multiply or do whatever with these two matrices they have to be of same size this is of size 2 by 4 and this is also of size 2 by 4 so if you want to do any of those operations you have to make sure that the the size of your matrices um, are consistent and um, they had to be the same to, for you to do any of those operations so I'm going to run this code real quick and then we'll see um, then I'll talk more about it. Here we have a, a variable a which is assigned um, apples plus blueberries. So apples is our uh, matrix, first matrix, and then blueberries is our second matrix. So addition, adding two matrices works um, similar to adding um, scalar, but it's, it's a bit different. You don't need a dot operator for uh, addition or subtraction ever. When you're using addition or subtraction, you do not need to put a dot. Um, it doesn't do anything. Um, so the way addition or adding matrices works is you take the first variable or the or the one or the element in one one position of this matrix and add it to one one um, element in one 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 position for this matrix. So um, you do one plus eleven and that gives you eleven. So this is what it will look like um, if you were to print it. If you were to run the program, I claim that this is what it will look like: one plus eleven plus ten is eleven, and then the second element would be 
adding this to to this 20 which will give you a 22 and then adding this 3 to this 30 because it's once again 1 3 position 1 3 position add those two together you get 33 um, so you keep doing that until it says you it, you your time map to keep doing that until all of these are added to all of these um, and as you can see it's it's um, it goes up by 11 every time so the the final matrix should look like should look something like this or it should look exactly like this um, and if I if I run this if I type in apples plus blueberries you'll see that um, that's why you get 11 22 excuse me 33 44 55 66 77 and 88 subtraction works the same way so I'm not going to um, do that now when you're multiplying two matrices you have to use the dot operator or or else it will not work so I'll show you that it will not work if you just typed in um, apples times blueberries see it says error using the um, asterisk which is the multiplication sign um, so it's all if you just put in the um, the dot operator what it will do is it will say okay my lab take the first one uh, take the element in one one position of this L um, uh, matrix and multiply it by the one one um, element in one one position for this matrix so it says 10 times 1 will which will give you 10 they, uh, it tells my lab to do, you're telling my lab to do 20 times 2 which gives you 40 then 30 times 3 gives you 90 40 times 4 get, gives you 160 50 times 5 gives you 250 and then so forth um, the same thing wor works with division um, I hope you've noticed that in MATLAB it's element by element based um, multiplication, addition, subtraction and um, all these other operations so apples div uh, dot divided by blueberries what do you think that will do? Um, you, as you can already guess it's probably going to take apple the first element of apple and then divided by this element of um, blueberries so t it will take one one um, element of apples and divided by one one element of blueberries take one two element of apples divided by one two element of blueberries one three ap uh, element of apples and divided by and divided by one three elements of um, blueberries so it should give you one tenth every time if you do the math um, in your um, if you just think about the math real quick so yeah it, it gives you that every time um, because it says one divided by ten two divided by twenty three divided by thirty four divided by forty five divided by fifty and then so on for the rest for the rest of them um, I made a new ma um two I thought I should introduce two more um, matrices to ex uh, to explain the dot to the power of because it will be too large doing this because you'll be doing one to the tenth and then by the time you get here eight to the eightieth power that's just too long um, or too big to actually show you what's going on um, so here it works basically the same way it says you have the first element of E and raise it to the f power of the first element of F. So it says 1 to the first power, which will give you 1. It says 2 to the second power, um, which, will, which will give you 4, and then 27, and then so on. So if I type in G, you'll see that it gives you 1, 4, 27, and 256. 1 to the first power, 2 to the second power, which gives you 4. 3 to the 3rd power which gives you um, 27 and then 4 to the 4th power which is 16 times 16 so that gives you 256 right here um, so a helpful tip for for an exam just every time you see um, a multiplication division or the power sign 
just put a dot in front of it because if you what what Matlab will do is um, it will just ignore it if, if it doesn't need to be there but on an exam or if you're just lazy um, it will save you time instead of trying to go back and thinking if it's a scalar or not whether or not you need to put a multiplication sign whether or not the code will run if you put a dot I mean whether or not I put a dot will the code run or whatnot just just put it there it will work so that's just a huge tip um, people do it all the time I do it all the time when I get lazy and it's just something worth doing just put a dot in front of it to 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 make it work uh, or to not think about whether or not it's a matrix or whether or not the code will run if you don't do it so that's a that's a major tip um, well thank you for watching see you next time